The other thing that's wild is Texans who are pissed off. There's actually a referendum they're working to get on the ballot about secession in November. I'll tell you what, people laugh about that, but Texas is one of the few states that has all the resources to do it. They can do it, yeah. Yeah, got their own electrical grid, got their own power, everything, man. They could do it. Oh, yeah, and if you look at Texas, too, Texans, like, like your real redneck Texans, they would mm-hmm. be just the ones crazy enough to do it. Like, eh, we can be our own country. And I mean, they wouldn't be a very small country, comparatively speaking, you know. They'd be taking John Cornyn and throwing them over the border into, into Florida. Right, yeah. You know, yeah, Florida, you uh, can have them. You know what I want to, the thing that, that baffles me about that decision exactly. is is Roberts and, what's her name? Pat? Amy Comey Barrett. Barrett. <laughs> yeah, those two, What what justified in their mind to not help the people pending the outcome of that case. You know, it, it makes you wonder, there's a story out there now about Pawn Stars, how the guy's son died. I think he died of fentanyl overdose, but he's blaming the border crisis. And I just wonder how long before the massive lawsuits against the federal government start. Right. It's like with COVID, man. It, it's like, wait a minute, man. There's too many people that are hurt. The wrong dude is going to lose a family member one of these days. Right. You know, you know, um, <laughs> Pastor Scott, a friend of the show, uh, uh, said something about Amy Comey, Amy Comey Barrett, and I was like, you know what? You took the words right out of my mouth. DEI hire. That, that's what happens when you get DEI hires, man. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible <Terrorists laughs> said that. <Yeah. laughs> it's true, and I want to know: <laughs> Did George W. Bush get to watch the tape of Roberts before he hired him? Right? No, no, right. You know this guy ain't right, man. Right. Hey, I, I want to know. I want to know his history. You know, what? Um, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say that's what's wild is if you follow the Supreme Court stuff close, most average people can read a Supreme Court decision and can see the legal justification they use for the actions. You know, like Roe versus Wade, they just said this isn't a federal right. It goes back to the states. That that was all it was. I mean, there was a lot of verbiage around it, but say- for the border thing, I got. I have no idea how they could have justified it. I'll say this. If they do this, well, actually, they've already done it, but if they follow through with the final decision with this, then everything that, I mean, and I know we've used this term, you know, America's fallen and um, everything you know about America is 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 gone. If, I'm, if they do this, then the Democrats will use this as president precedent to override state decisions oh, all absolutely. the time oh yeah because the supreme court said so and it won't be just the borders it'll be businesses it'll be neighborhoods it'll be all types of stuff so i mean it it really doesn't stop here texas it's gonna, is it's continuing gonna... its crackdown along the southern border accusing the biden administration of sitting on its hands in the face of a spiraling crisis fox's dana marie mcnichol is in eagle pass with more today texas spent the day putting up more razor wire on top of shipping containers a clear deterrent for migrants trying to cross the river into shelby park Texas has kicked out Border Patrol and has now allowed Texas state troopers to arrest migrants who are tampering with the wire trying to cross. They are now being charged with criminal trespassing. Arrested migrants will wait in jail until sentenced. After that, Texas will turn the migrants over to ICE, which will then decide whether to be deported or not. Yesterday, members of the Texas state legislature got a tour of border operations and have a message for the Biden administration. My personal message would be that uh, your policy positions and your decisions matter. And we have a a true uh, chaotic anarchy type situation with people coming over uh, by the thousands. Although the number of migrants crossing daily here in Shelby Park are down, Texas DPS told me that other spots along the border are still attracting large groups. Earlier this morning, our cameras captured over 100 people walking just west of where we are now in Eagle Pass. The asylum seekers were put into a van and taken to a processing center by U.S. Border Patrol. Last night in McAllen, Texas, Customs and Border Protection showed us new tactics migrants are now using to climb over the 30-foot border wall that stretches across the area. That's the the new style ladder they're coming with. Um, 
uh, it's like a rebar, thin rebar type, and that's what they're using now. Um, I guess it's a little lighter than the wood ladders that they were using. So. Texas DPS told us that the Mexican state of Coahuila are cooperating with the U.S. Any migrants traveling in trains that are going to the United States will be picked up, bussed further south into Mexico. In Eagle Pass, I'm Dana Marie McNichol, Fox News. Man. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to take, man. I, I mean, It is hard to take. You know, you look at, I saw a report, I'll bet you you guys saw it too. Uh, I think it was Ben Burkwam, right at Eagle Pass. And he was interviewing some of these, some of this invasion force, and he was asking them where they were from. And there was this guy from East Africa, West Africa, a jihadist. And he asked him, where are you from? Where are you from? And the guy said, you're not very smart. You people are not very military age male. You people are not very smart. You'll find out where I'm from very soon. And I was oh. like, damn. Oh, that was pretty, uh, pretty blatant. I mean, it was brazen right in your face. And I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, be prepared. Be prepared for some organized activity going on inside our country by enemy forces. And you can call me crazy for saying that, but I'm telling you, I can tell you to be prepared and you get pre be prepared and, and nothing happens and you'll be fine. Don't get prepared and something happens and see how your life changes. Some of this stuff is so remarkable too. Like how do we reach the point of the, the American experiment where we think it's a great idea to let millions of people that we don't vet into the country. In I years. mean, we don't even vet them. Right. We have no idea. We don't even have a shot record. Right. You yeah. know, Wayne and I were in the military. You didn't go anywhere without a shot record, man. Had it in the back pocket. It is more difficult.